hello viewer this is me uh, dr zahur islam and you are watching my lecture on uh, my youtube channel zahur islam official so this is the second continuation lecture in peptic ulcer disease uh, so this lecture is related to helicobacter pylori eradication so now for example if your h pylori test is positive so what will be the treatment strategy and treatment protocol so the helicobacter pylori eradications majority of the patient presenting with duodenal ulcer they are infected with helicobacter pylori so eradication of h pylori should therefore be done using a seven day course of treatment consisting of a ppi proton pump inhibitor plus a combination of two of the antibiotics indicated in the table below so uh, they, uh, in this lecture uh, i i will just highlight the 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 treatment protocol the pharmacological treatment uh, against the h pylori species helicobacter pylori species if it is found in uh, during uh, test mean in case of duodenal ulcer for example majority of the patient they are uh, they, they are presenting they have a duodenal ulcer and they are and this this ulcer is actually infected with helicobacter uh, pylori now let's come to our helicobacter pylori eradication now let let's see you 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 can see um, on my screen this is very simple treatment so first of all in table 2 to 5 helicobacter pylori eradication therapy so first of all you should take a start and uh, from ppi so ppi uh, <coughs> uh, isomeprazole uh, they are available in uh, orally uh, 20 mg 12 uh, hourly so mean that isomeprazole uh, they are available uh, in a capsule form uh, and oral 20 mg or 12 hourly or omeprazole oral 20 mg 12 hourly mean after each 12 hours or ribeprazole oral 20 mg 12 hourly so along with ppi proton pump inhibitor amoxicillin oral is available 1 g to 12 hours leave 1 g 12 hours leave mean you should take 1 g or 1000 mg after each 12 hours or 1 g 12 hours leave the omeprazole is um, also available and you can say uh, the amoxicillins they are also available in 1 g uh, 12 hours leave or 500 mg after each 8 hours or 1 g 1 g uh 12 hours leave so the first is the first thing is uh, you will have to use the any ppi proton pump inhibitor so that is available in a market uh, by uh, different doses uh, uh, and 20 mg and 40 mg uh, so one capsule uh, uh, early in the morning so the second one is amoxicillin so amoxicillin or uh, that is also available uh, orally the second one is clarithromycin oral so clarithromycin is also available and find the strength at dose of 500 mg mean after each 12 hours bd or 500 mg 12 hours lee and 500 mg uh, 12 hours lee so uh, i mean that uh, helicobacter pylori this is i think this is the Uh, there are some exceptional cases so here is a question that why we are using um, uh, both the antibiotic uh, in the same case so as the literature as the literature uh, already reported that uh, um, double antibiotic they are contraindicated double antibiotic because there may be chance of drug drug interaction so uh, i think uh, you you can't use double antibiotics because it can uh, affect the pharmacokinetics the absorption the metabolism uh, of one another so here in this case this is very exceptional case uh, you know about aerobes and and aerobes that there are certain bacteria which can survive in the presence of oxygen either oxygen is present or not actually and the h and h pylori uh, infection a single antibiotic is fail to treat the helicobacter pylori so per helicobacter pylori you must will have to use the amoxicillin 
so this belong to beta lactam antibiotic and one is clarithromycin so both are antibiotic so one is uh, amoxicillin amoxicillin it belong to beta lactam antibiotic while clarithromycin belong to macrolide so these are two different groups so there is no interaction here and um, this is you can say compulsive therapy it is very important to uh, treat the patient with the help of these two antibiotics so in order to uh, eradicate the H. pylori infection so clarithromycin is orally available in 500 milligram so after each 12 hour mean BD after meal okay so another thing is metronidazole oral so oral metronidazole is already available in 400 mg so it can be taken after each 12 hour or 8 hours so depend upon on the condition of the patient so per H. pylori, I think this is one of the best choice, best treatment. So you can, your first choice is PPI, proton pump inhibitor. So it may be isomeprazole or omeprazole. So you can take 20 milligram or 40 milligram. Um, uh, <coughs> after that, uh, along with the PPI proton pump inhibitor, so you need uh, amoxicillin, amoxils, uh, 1 gram. Uh, 12 hours after after uh, each 12 hours for example if the condition of the patient is severe and along with the amoxicillin you can give the clarithromycin antibiotic oral and as well as the metronidazole so i think this is one of the best uh, uh, treatment and it can be uh, continue for seven days so where surgery is indicated we have already mentioned inshallah in my next lecture uh, we shall talk about the gastroesophageal reflux disease that what is gastroesophageal reflux disease its pathophysiology and once again thank you so much this is very important lecture especially for nurse for pharmacists for each and everyone those who are involved especially in medical profession for all healthcare provider thank you so if you need any kind of help so i'm available for any kind of services. Thank you.